Hello and welcome to On One Page. Today we are going to discuss information gain. Information gain is very important because it's widely used with decision tree that makes it very important for uh, machine learning community. Also, it could be a way for us to understand our uh, classification method to understand which kind of attribute contributed the most to our classifier and thus will lead us to know the importance of each and every attribute in our data set. Let's explore this uh, simple data set in here and I'm sure it's quite familiar data set which contains 14, at 14 uh, examples or an instance and it has five attributes including the class. Basically this data set is about whether a person could play uh, a game, let's say tennis or not, given some uh, weather conditions. But our focus today is the information gain, how important the attributes are, not really the classification. So the question is, which attribute is the most important attribute? For example, if we have an at attribute leads to this kind of decisions, three yeses and two no. Is this attribute important or not? So we have to find a way of quantifying the, um, how much the information we can gain from this attribute. So basically, this is leads us to which we call as impurity or entropy, which is a concept comes from the information theory. So here we are trying to give the information required in bits, something we can actually calculate. The higher the entropy is, the more informative the attribute would be. So the formula, if you could see it here, the entropy is equal to the summation of P here refers to the probability of a class I. In this case, we have two classes, right? So I here will be two, logarithm of, again, the probability of I. So you notice here the logarithm was base two here in this case. So if I would like to calculate the entropy here, basically I could, I could start by the class two here, no, which I have, what's the probability of getting no in this case is 2 over 5. Logarithm was 2 over 5. The probability of getting yes is 3 over 5. Logarithm was 3 over 5. When we calculate this, then uh, this is equivalent to 0 0.971. And this is the way we can calculate the entropy in this case. Similarly, I could do this or I can apply this in each and every attribute and then I can measure which attribute is the most important attribute. All right, so let's have a look in here. We just summarize whatever you could see in this data in this frequency tables. So for the attribute outlook, for instance, it has three variable here. It could be sunny, overcast, or rainy. For sunny ended up to be yes, it's only two. You could see here, sunny ended no, sunny no, sunny no, but we have this lead, lead to a decision of yes and also this one. So I have two out of the five sunnies actually uh, ended yes. Similarly, I have three for no. And you can actually count that two in here and one in here we could do similar thing for uh, for example out outcast see outcast yes yes and two yeses here so we could say here four of them are actually ended yes and nothing for uh, uh, the class no in case of rainy we also have three ended yes and two ended no you can even double check that this three here two yeses one no right 
and this is yes and this is no right so of course uh, you can calculate the total here is five in this case is four overcast and we have rainy cases are five uh, the yeses are actually nine and you can count them here no is actually five so the total should be 14 which is the total number of instances in here so very simple i can calculate the probability of sunny which is two out of nine right because here we want to calculate the um, uh, the probability of sunny given that is yes right so it's two out of nine right so two sunny ended yes and we have nine yeses similarly for overcast four over nine yeses is actually uh, from overcast similarly for rainy which is in this case three over nine we could do the same thing for the no case which is in this case for sunny for for instance is three over five there is no possibility here for overcast is 0 over 5. There is nothing ended no. And for rainy, we have 2 over the 5 no cases comes from rainy here. And that's why it's 0 0.4. We could do the same thing for temperature. It has also hot, mild, and cool. The same thing for humidity high and normal the same thing for windy which is true or false and all this is the overall uh, probability here of yes and no which is 9 over the 14 cases and 5 over the 14 cases which is 0.4 and this is 0.6 so once we have the frequency table then we can start to calculate the information again and the first step is let's look at the outlook attribute so basically the outlook to be sunny let's calculate the information gain here which is we have two for yeses and three for no here right the total of course is five this will be two over five similar to this in here two over five logarithm of 2 over 5 3 over 5 logarithm of 3 over 5 and this is equal to 0 0.971 and you could see it here the information gain from 2 and 3 I have to calculate the entropy of 2 over 5 and 3 over 5 following this formula is minus 2 over 5 logarithm 2 over 5 and 3 over 5 logarithm 3 over 5 is equal to 0 0.971 bits now we calculated it into bits for the overcast we can calculate the information gain for 4 and 0 as well right and in this case we would like to find the entropy the entropy of 4 over 4 and 0 over 4 4 over 4 and 0 over 4 so it's 1 and 0 and that's why this is equal to minus 1 logarithm of 1 minus zero logarithm of zero of course this one will lead to infinity uh, uh, to um, uh, to normally undefined value let's consider it zero here and this logarithm of one is zero so no matter what is zero here so this is ended up in zero bits so for a rainy case again we have three and two three and two so three over five and 2 over 5 these are the probabilities and thus will leads us to again 0.971 because it's similar to the first case so now we can calculate the expected information gain for the all um, uh, outlook attribute which is in this case the the information gain for the 3 and 2 and 4 and 0 and 3 and 2 right so in this case this is equal to 5 over 14 why because we have 5 in this case here over 14 multiply or you can you can even check it straight away from here 5 
cases of sunny over the 14, right? Multiply by what we got in here, right? Similarly, we can also get the second one, which is 4 over 14 multiplied by 0, and 5 over 14 multiplied by 0 0.971. So when we add all these probabilities together, then it's equal to 0.694. By the way, I'm, I'm going to put this Excel sheet in the description below. You can actually download this uh, Excel sheet. And if you make any changes here, the whole number uh, numbers here will be changed accordingly and the information gain will be adjusted. Okay? So, in the case of uh, the expected information gain, we have calculated it. So finally, we have to look at the overall probability, which is the, uh, the overall probability for the nine yes cases and five no cases. So basically, this is nine over 14, the probability of nine over 14 and five over 14, right? So in this case, the information gain following the same way is equal to 0.94. So, the information gain in this case will be the, the, uh, the, inform the um, uh, probability of information we got from overall probability minus the expected one, uh, the expected probability we got from the uh, uh, attribute. This is 0.94 minus 0.69, which is equal to 0.247. And this is the final information gain we can uh, actually calculate. We could do the similar thing here for temperature, humidity, and uh, windy. And in this case, you can simply see that the outlook have the highest information gain. This is followed by humidity, then windy, and then the temperature attribute. Why is it important for a decision tree? Because now we can identify the root of the decision tree. We can straight away start from the outlook and start to draft our uh, uh, dra decision tree. We look at the cases of sunny, overcast, which will lead us straight away to yes uh, decision, and then uh, rainy. And then basically, we could, if we cannot uh, reach the final decision, then we can straight away uh, also get information from uh, the humidity case. Because this attribute is the second informative uh, attribute. So basically identify the root of the decision tree is very important and information gain here help us uh, to do that. So this is um, the end of uh, this um, simple explanation for the information gain. As I mentioned, you're going to uh, find this Excel sheet um, in the uh, description below. Here, if you change anything, let's say I'm going to change this to, uh, uh, for example, to true instead of false, then you can see here there is all already changes took place. Okay? So, you can actually try different values and try different um, uh, um, combination of, of attributes here, and you can uh, look at the uh, reflection on the information gain. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you in the next uh, on one page lecture.